5 mind-blowing facts about Rihanna's spectacular Super Bowl halftime show that you should know. Rihanna brought down the house with an electrifying performance at State Farm Stadium in Arizona during the 57th Super Bowl halftime show on Sunday night, February 12, 2023. Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Chekube Isaac and if you're new here, please like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on notification by clicking on the bell icon. If you're a fan of Rihanna, then you should agree that she never fails to amaze us with her talent, style and showmanship, and her Super Bowl performance was no exception. From the stunning pyrotechnics to the non-stop hits, Rihanna had the crowd going wild. So without further ado, let's dive into the facts that made this performance truly unforgettable. Number 1. No paycheck for performing at the Super Bowl halftime show you might be surprised to learn that the artists who perform at the Super Bowl halftime show don't actually receive a paycheck from the NFL. But don't worry, the exposure they get from performing in front of millions of people is worth more than any paycheck. For example, after Shakira and Jennifer Lopez performed in 2020, they saw a 267 and 187% increase in streaming numbers respectively. The same happened with Lady Gaga who saw a 1000% increase in song and album sales after performance in 2017. So even though Rihanna didn't receive an actual payment for a performance at the Super Bowl, the exposure she received is sure to pay off in the long run. Number 2. The Cost of the Super Bowl Halftime Show Production Can you guess how much the production of the Super Bowl Halftime Show costs? Well, if you're guessing over $10 million, then of course you are correct. The NFL and Apple Music are typically the ones who foot the bill, but they won't confirm if the artist also contributes some of their own money to the production. For example, the stage Rihanna performed on was made up of seven platforms suspended anywhere from 15 to 60 feet above the field. These platforms were not only visually stunning, but also served a practical purpose by keeping our feet off the grass. Now remember that the grass is a huge topic. A big shout out to the backup dancers by the way, they truly made the performance on stage a visual spectacle. Number 3. Rihanna's first performance in 4 years it's been four long years since we last saw Rihanna perform live on the stage at the Grammys in 2018, but she made a return on stage at the Super Bowl with a bang. She performed a medley of our biggest hits. Bitch Better Have My Money, Where Have You Been, Only Girl in the World, We Found Love, Rude Boy, Work, Pour It Up, All of the Lights, Run This Down, Umbrella, and diamonds. For fans of Rihanna who have been waiting for her next album, this performance was a welcome surprise and of course a glimpse into what's to come. Number 4. Rihanna's Pregnancy Reveal at the Super Bowl The social media world went into a frenzy when Rihanna revealed an unexpected special guest during a performance. Clad in a crimson red assemble designed by Louis, she showed off a growing baby bump and left everyone stunned. It was a touching moment that showed how she can still deliver an electrifying performance even when pregnant. And finally, number 5. Chris Brown's reaction to Rihanna's performance Just moments after Rihanna's performance, Chris Brown took to his Instagram stories to send his congratulatory message to his ex. He wrote, Go girl alongside a red heart and praying hands emoji. This actually isn't the first time he's shown his support for Rihanna. Last May, he congratulated her on the birth of her first child with Rocky. I guess we can say it's all love and light. Well, there you have it guys, here are the 5 mind-blowing facts behind Rihanna's spectacular Super Bowl halftime show. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. My name is Jakubi Isaac and thank you so much for watching, bye.